With a new Blade Runner 2049 trailer likely to be released soon after or right before a scheduled Facebook Q&A scheduled for Monday <clears> with stars Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford, two new posters and a trailer tease have been released for Denis Villeneuve's upcoming sequel. The new film takes place 30 years after the original and follows new Blade Runner K, played by Gosling, on a quest to find Rick Deckard, played by Ford, who has been missing the past three decades. The film is written by Logan's Michael Green and original Blade Runner writer Hampton Fancher and opens on October 6th. Roca, buy or sell the new posters for Blade Runner 2049. I feel like I'm going to be on an island here from what we talked about off camera, but I absolutely love, love, love these posters. Blade Runner is a noir. This is what it's all about. That universe is a noir. It's, it's standing alone. It's against the elements. It's feeling like you're distant from everything else. You see the destruction behind Harrison Ford that alludes to, you see the red, the orange, that alludes to the replicants. Remember, if you see the original movie, replicant is in red. There's a reason for this. There's all this that alludes to the original film that's really, really powerful. And then if you look at Ryan Gosling, he's in a brighter situation. He's the hero of this movie. So logically, he's going to be in whiter, kind of lighter lights, and you see this badass car next to him do you know what i'm saying but you see all the rain and the smoke all of that is noir stuff and he's got the he's got the trench coat with the things up you know alluding to kind of that shot from jay that famous shot of james dean walking in new york with the trench coat up mm. you have everything going for these films that is working on you subconsciously. i mean in these posters rather that is working on you subconsciously and for those of us that love the blade runner original film that's me and scott mance and millions of others uh this is a these two posters are fantastically perfect to evoke what they're going to do with the sequel and what Denis, Denis Villeneuve is going to do so powerfully with this film. So I couldn't love these more. I couldn't buy these more. I probably have to take Perry's money and Dave's money <laughs> or, and, and buy more. So there we go. That's I don't my know opinion. about him. I can't read your reactions right now. No. Are, are you into these? Are you fantastically <laughs> perfect is the correct phrase. Yes. I buy this as well. Thank you. Oh, it looks good. Oh, no. Thank you. It looks great. Um, yeah. Yeah, see that Makuga? Yeah. That's how you high five Makuga. All right, yeah, go ahead. Um, no, I, I, I'm a, I was a huge Blade Runner fan as a yep. kid. I didn't get to see it, of course, in the theater, but I saw it uh, later on, and I saw it with my dad, and I absolutely loved it. I still, I bought the 25th anniversary edition on Blu-ray. There's a great three and a half, four hour yes. behind the scenes by Ridley Scott. It's fantastic. You yep. should buy the Blu-ray. Um, it just looks cool. I love that coat. Right? I like. Yeah. I like. Fa I mean, I like fashion. As I wear this blue Hawaiian shirt. Oh, yeah. so fashion. I, I have great fashion. <laughs> so fashion. Um, <laughs> that coat is pimping. I want to get that coat. Ryan Gosling looks great. He always looks good. Yeah. Uh, Harrison Ford looks great too. Like like Roka said, I love the contrast. I'm excited because Dennis Denny Villeneuve is one of my favorite directors out there. Mm -hmm. Sicario was my favorite movie of 2015. Yes. So I trust what he's doing, and it's Roger Deakins yeah. doing this too. Mm -hmm. The man who's been snubbed at the Academy Awards for years. Right. Uh, give this man an Oscar. I'm seeing this. I buy it. Don't get carried away. <laughs> I'm going to sell the posters. <gasps> I'm selling the posters because, no sense. as you know, I'm not a big Blade You're Runner not. fan, but that does not mean I'm going to write off this movie and I either, I either don't want to see it at all or I want it to be bad. That has nothing mm -hmm. to do with this at all. Mm -hmm. When I first saw that poster of Ryan Gosling, I saw a Fast and Furious poster. No. That is what I saw. And the first thing I Nothing. saw... Vin when Diesel I, couldn't wear that coat. And Vin Diesel couldn't wear that, that coat. Is a, Nothing. That no. is a very fair point. No, no but shot, it still looks like no a Fast, Fast and Furious, Furious poster. No Fast ever looked that cool. No shot in Fast and Furious has ever looked that cool. That's badass. Okay. No, no poster for Fast and Furious has ever looked that cool, That's but right. it still looks like <laughs> a Fast and Furious poster. And you know what else it Point looks taken. like? It looks like Harrison Ford is wearing pajamas. No. He's older. He's got. That's why older guys wear shirts. Sure they got to be comfy. I guess there must be a point to it. It's just like the first thing well, that my eye was drawn to was yeah. was that like frumpy T-shirt that looks like he slept in it for God knows how many days. Yeah, because that's Deckard. Deckard wasn't it, about showing off anything. Is. As, and he's as got the someone blaster. who is not super passionate yeah, yeah, yeah. about the original Blade Runner, what yeah. I wanted from teaser posters, mm. the first posters we were getting, yeah. was something that draws me in. But luckily, what else dropped today yeah. was the the trailer teaser yeah, for the right. trailer that's dropping in three days and. There was, there was another uh, teaser trailer back in the mm -hmm, fall. Mm -hmm. Both of them had the same effect, where even though I don't like this, and even though I don't want to watch the original Blade Runner ever mm -hmm. again, I look at those, and all of a sudden I'm interested. And that is yeah. that is saying a lot as a non-fan of the original that all of a sudden I'm really looking forward to seeing what particularly Denis Villeneuve and Deacons are doing with this movie because yeah. those things look absolutely stunning. Yeah. And are you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Thank you, Perry. Because this is like the reverse of this is the reverse of Power Rangers, right? We and you would like when those things would come you on, know, I'd be like, I'm is. gonna give it a chance. But Perry would look at the nuance of the posters and I wouldn't catch half of what they what she was talking about. But I went and saw the movie and enjoyed it too. But the thing behind him is not the Statue of Liberty. That's a replicant. Get that in your head. See, all these things are there to evoke the original film. Yeah, I don't think the Statue of Liberty yeah. has her mouth open. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. People people have been saying things like <laughs> oh. that online like, is what I'm saying. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. another yeah. weird warped universe. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You got to educate the youngins. Oh, boy. 